So the Purdue Climate Change Research Center is a group of 92 faculty across 27 different departments at Purdue, and we're all working on climate change from different perspectives. One of the activities that we're leading in conjunction with people at universities and other institutions around the state is the Indiana Climate Change Impacts Assessment. And this assessment is looking at how climate change is gonna affect many different aspects of our state, whether it's agriculture or our water resources, our health. And today we're releasing a report that focuses on tourism and recreation. The activities that we enjoy, and particularly the ones that we do outdoors, are tightly linked to climate. So if it's not a nice day out, we're not gonna to wanna to necessarily go out for a walk in the woods or a stroll on the beach, or we might not wanna to go to a baseball game or uh, you know, go to a car race. There's a lot of things that uh, might change our decisions that have to do with weather. The climate is going to change many aspects of both tourism and our recreation as we come into the, um, into the century. We have a pretty fair idea about the way that it's gonna impact us directly. We know that the mild days, that sweet spot that people love to go outside, that 65 to 85 degree range, when you just love to be outside doing stuff, that that's gonna reduce substantially. And that it's gonna happen earlier and later in the year. We also know that in the middle of the year, in the middle of summer, we're gonna get much hotter, that extreme heat is gonna be more common and the other thing that we know for certain is that the, um, the winters are going to become a little warmer and a lot wetter. We're already adjusting events here in the state because of the climate. When we look into the future, we expect we could lose as many as three to four weeks of mild weather days, sort of the best climate days. And here we are, the tourism industry in Indiana surrounded by changes that are happening in the states around us, in the places where our visitors come to visit, and what impacts those changes have on our tourism industry, on our recreation, is going to be an important part of this discussion too.